So welcome back and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can create smart bands with a keyword. For example, if you shoot a big project, let's say a four day wedding in Italy and you need to find things back really quick, you want to create smart bands with keywords. Okay, so let's dive into it. Right up here you see smart bands. If you don't see this, you can add them very quick by uh, going to file and clicking on new smart bin. But if you want to create them here, you can do that as well. Click on your right and you want to add your smart bin. Okay, so let's say you want to add all the swimming pool shots from day one. So you type in day one, this is basically the file name of your smart bin. Then you can show it in all your project. So this smart bin will show it in all of your projects. I never click on this because that means if I work in a new project, day one smart bin for swimming pool is added. And I don't need that because it's a new project. So I don't want to show it in all my projects. Only this one. I can match all of the following rules. Yes, I want that because these are the rules that we're gonna create and I want to match them. So you're gonna select this. You're gonna leave it on media pool properties. All right, here we're gonna change the file name, keywords. Click on it. Then we're gonna leave it on contains. And now we're gonna create a keyword. And this is very important that you remember the keyword. So let's say pool party. Okay, so we want to search all the clips for pool party. Create, nothing happens. Don't worry, uh, because first we need to select the clips of the pool party. So you go back to your master, you're gonna select all the clips that have to do with pool party, but, and then you go to your metadata, and if you don't see this immediately, you go to this arrow right here, and you're gonna select all groups. And in all groups, you can uh, give your metadata, uh, like descriptions, colors, you can name it whatever you want, but we want to go to keyword. So we want to give all of these three clips a keyword. You remember it? Yes, it was pool party. Pool party. If I'm gonna hit save, you're gonna see that we created just a smart bin, with all, you see, pool party with all the clips with pool party in it. You can make your own structure, you can organize your own bins. If you want to delete your smart bins, simply click on the right. You're gonna say remove, bye bye, delete, <laughs> remove, uh, delete, and everything is gone. Another cool trick that I want to show you is, let's say that you shot on multiple cameras. So right here you see that in my camera, I already set the name for the wedding. It's my own name with the name of the couple. And uh, Kay did this as well, you see this? So now we know that these are two different cameras, but we want to just add them in a smart bin. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna click on the right, we're gonna add a smart bin. So you're gonna name your smart bin again, let's say day one, okay. All right, very easy. Um, you're just gonna leave it as it is. You're gonna do media pool properties, file name, contains, and then, because we need to uh, say what is the file name, it has something with it, in it with K, create and now you see if i go to my smart bin k day one you see only the clips with k so add a smart bin let's do that with day one timo and we just leave it as it is we just simply gonna hit timo because that is in my clip name create and now i did a really fast selection of your clips day one and on my clips day one. So this is how I do it. Let's remove it again. Select all the smart bins, remove. And let's add a smart bin. And guys, if you look in here, 
you see a file name, clip name, real name, uh, clip type, all of these things you can add and find in your metadata. So if you want to add something, you want to search for something, for example, you have different shots, you have different angles, you have different frame rates, you can just name it, type it in, save it, add it to your smart bins and find it really quick. All right, so hopefully you learned something about smart bins and keywords. This is my workflow, but feel free to create your own workflow. And if you find something that is very helpful for somebody else, just leave it in the comment. All right, see you in my next videos.